Tier 2 is one of the easiest WCA events, and great if you like being slower than a Polish six-year-old. 2x2 two two methods generally consist of solving a layer or a face, and then doing an algorithm to finish it off. The best 2x2s two currently on the market are the VIN 2x2, the WAPO WRS, and the GAN 251M Pro. And most top 2x2 two solvers can generally one look the entire solve. In fact, many can plan out multiple one look solutions and decide which one is best for them during inspection. 15 seconds of it. The 3x3 is the most famous WCA event and probably the only event that any professional speedcuber can make decent money from. The 3x3s can be solved by solving a cross and then the first two layers and then OLL and then PLL. Some cubers also use a method called Roo, but basically irrelevant among the top cubers these days. The best 3x3s on the market at the moment are cubes such as the Super Waylong or the Waylong V10, the GAN 15, Tornado V4, and then some budget options such as the RS3M V5 Bull Core or the Diane Guhong Pro. So if you want to try out 3x3, very simple and very easy to get into, and you can very easily learn online. Pyraminx is another simple and fast event that lots of kids are very fast at. It requires slightly more intuition and less algorithms than 2x2 two two or Skube, and it also has the tips to deal with, which require slightly different figure tricks. Most Pyraminxes can be solved by fixing the tips in various ways during the attempt, and then solving a V or a layer, depending what you choose, and then the last four edges or the last three edges. The best Pyraminx on the market is the Waylong Pyraminx. Skube is another very fast event. It's like a cube, but it turns in a completely different way to most cubes. Methods to solve it are basically solving a layer and then using sledges and hedges to finish it off, although more advanced methods exist which are a bit more efficient than that. The best skubes on the market are the Waylong Skube or the GAN Skube, and TeamSpeedCubing.org is actually pretty good at Skube with two in high up in the UK rankings, Harry Owen and Matthew Stevenson. Megaminx is an event that takes slightly longer to solve. It is essentially a 3x3 three, three three, but extended, so you can solve a star, which is a bit like a cross, and then you have F2L, but you have to do it multiple times over multiple layers, and then you just have OLL and PLL at the end, but obviously the algorithm is going to be different and there's a lot more of them because there are more pieces to solve. The event is currently dominated by a young boy from Russia, and um, yeah, if you want to give it a go, give it a go. The best Megaminxes on the market currently are the GAN and the Diane, or maybe for a budget, the Yuhu V2M. The Square One is not actually a cube. Then again, neither is the Megaminx, the Pyraminx, or many other WCA events. The Square One is a puzzle that has to go into cube shape so it's not always like this and it has bandaged around the center so you've got to do all sorts of weird moves but every move is essentially a turning of this layer or this layer or this layer essentially r u or d in three by three notation methods to solve this you solve cube shape then you solve ol on each side and then peel out on each side while fixing parity the best square one on the market is, of course, the MGC. Although GAN keep claiming they'll release one soon, but soon never seems to come. 4x4 is a slightly longer WCA event that obviously takes longer to solve because it is a 4x4. 4x4s can be solved by reducing it into a 3x3. So you solve the centers, although most people like to solve the cross and the centers at the same time so they can have more ease easier edge pairing and 3x3 three three stage. Once you've so reduced it into a 3x3, three three, it is literally just a 3x3, three three, unless you get parity, which is a case where just one edge or is flipped or two edges are swapped. 
that requires a long algorithm to solve. The best 4x4s on the market are the VinCube or the Aosu V7 at the moment. 5x5 is pretty much the same as 4x4, but it's a bit, there's a fixed center and it takes a bit longer because there's more layers. 5x5 only has one parity because it's an odd numbered puzzle and it can be spotted during edge pairing just like this. Best 5x5s currently on the market are the Outtrain V6 and the GAN 562 and maybe the X-Man Hong or the MGC if you're on a budget. 6x6 is similar to 5x5 but with another layer. It has a lot of parity because it has it's an even numbered puzzle with more pieces. It has inner parity, outer parity and PLL parity. And just like 4x4, well, similarly to 4x4, 6x6 is like a 7x7 but with the internal pieces hidden. So if you take it apart, it is basically a 7x7 but with internal pieces hidden. Best 6x6s on the market are the Aoshi WRM and the MGC. 7x7 is like 6x6 but with one more layer. There's not really much else. It has a fixed center and slightly less parity, but that's pretty much it. The best 7x7s on the market are the Aoshi WRM and the MGC. Clock is possibly the easiest WCA event. The goal is to get all of the pins to 12 and you do this by rotating the gears which are to the side of the puzzle and if you push the pin, certain pins down then it restricts which clocks will turn when the gears are turned. You're better off if I tell you that the only clock is a Chiyu clock because it's by very easily the only good one. So just get a Chiyu clock if you want to be good at clock. Um, people have recently developed methods which involve not flipping the clock but usually when you're starting out you will have to flip the clock and solve the other side. 3x3 blindfolded is an event where you have to solve a 3x3 under a blindfold. You have the total time it takes is the time it takes you to memorize it. You look at the scramble and decide how you're going to solve it. And then you put it under the blindfold and then you execute it. And the total time is combined time of both. Logos have recently been allowed in 3x3 blindfolded, so these blank center caps are pretty much useless. To prevent people peeking through the blindfold, they're you have to hold, the judge has to hold a cover up over between the blindfold and the cube so that you cannot peek through the blindfold. 3x3 blindfolded may seem daunting, but really it only requires three algorithms and an understanding of how to memorize 20 letters and do set up to those algorithms in the right way. 3x3 with one hand is a a variation of 3x3 but you're only allowed to use one hand. A lot of top 3x3 solvers use a slightly different method called Roux where you solve one a 2x1x2x3 two by, one by two by block and then another 1x2x3 by by block and then you do CLL and then you could finish it off with just M and U moves and a lot of them can use a method called table abuse where you well, yeah, you abuse a table to do M moves, which uh, would otherwise be quite difficult to do with only one hand. However, the current world record holder uses CFOP, Luke Garrett. 3x3 multi-blind is an event where you have to solve multiple 3x3s blindfolded. You get 10, up to 10 minutes per cube, up to a total of 60 minutes. So if you're attempting more than 6 cubes, you don't get any more time. The current world record is 59 points, which is pretty impressive to solve so many cubes in under an hour. The scoring system works by the number of cubes so you have the number of cubes you attempted to solve and then you are scored by the number of cubes you did solve, in this case, eight, minus the number of cubes you did not solve. So this would be six points out of a maximum of 10 if all 10 cubes had been solved. For multi-blind, you are still not allowed logos. 4x4 blindfolded is pretty similar to 3x3 blindfolded, but you have to solve a 4x4 instead of a 3x3 blindfolded. So you have a lot more pieces to memorize and some extra things to consider. There is no fixed center, so you're gonna to have to deal with the center orientations. 
So essentially, you have to memorize the color scheme to make sure you get everything right. 5x5 Blindfolded is the hardest WCA event, and less than a thousand people have ever got an official success at it. And far less have official means. The current world record is just over two minutes by Stanley Chapel, but even double or triple that, you're way, way up the world rankings among the best in the world. Methods are pretty similar to 4x4 Blindfolded, but you just have even more pieces to consider, like these edges, and that's pretty much it. So there we have it, 17 official WCA events, all explained pretty quickly. Ah, I almost forgot. 3x3 three three fewest moves is essentially an exam. You sit in a silent room for an hour and you have to come up with the shortest solution to a given scramble that can have no relationship to the scramble. So if you just reversed it, it would be at ENF. The delegate wouldn't be happy about you trying stuff like that. Really stupid. Methods to solve this. You can basically use efficient CFOP as a beginner method, but then there are more advanced things like switching between the normal and the inverse scramble, or even better, computer techniques like domino reduction, where you reduce it into being able to be solved with entirely double moves. There are no real hardware things for this. You can use whatever cube you want, it's not really going to make any difference. 